Hi, my name's Sarah, and I'm here to tell you about a common condition that often goes undiagnosed by doctors, including specialists. I'm talking about hypothyroidism. And if you've been experiencing the symptoms that I'm about to mention, then you may be affected by it. You see, I'm pretty much the typical American mom. I spend my days working nine to five, while evenings and weekends are reserved for quality time with my husband and chasing after two amazing kids. So as you can imagine, this takes lots of energy. Luckily, I always seem to have plenty to go around. I guess that's because I've always taken good care of myself, keeping up with the latest nutrition and workout trends, and even managing stress well, despite the occasional chaos of modern life and parenthood. That's why I just couldn't understand it when my health took a sudden downward plunge a few years back. It all came out of the blue. I went from being active and social to feeling tired all the time. Some days I found myself so fatigued, I just had to stay in bed, even though I couldn't get a wink of sleep. It felt like life as I knew it was over. Yet little did I know my problems were only beginning. So naturally I decided to seek medical help and I visited my family doctor, my gynecologist, and even an endocrinologist. But none were much help. In fact, they only consulted me for 15 minutes. And that's 15 minutes total between all of them. They all told me my condition was normal. That it's just what happens when you get older. They even suggested I was going through the change. Deep down, I refused to accept that feeling this way could really just be a side effect of aging. I mean, I know I didn't attend high school prom last week but I'm a far cry from golden girl status. Still, I trusted my doctors and I tried to go on with life as best I could. Before long, things got worse. Not only did my symptoms grow more intense, but strange things started happening. I misplaced my keys or purse, and I began forgetting things, important things like my kids' names. It got so bad that they even had to wear name tags. It was heartbreaking. Then came the depression. Everything made me cry. Even doing laundry would cause me to totally lose it. And the mood swings? It was like a roller coaster, except it never seemed to end. And I wasn't the only one on the ride. My poor husband would get his head bitten off just by asking me what was for dinner. To add insult to injury, I couldn't stop gaining weight. I mean, kick a girl when she's down, why don't you? It didn't make any sense. I was dieting more intensely than ever, yet still I looked like I ate myself twice. That'll lift a gal's spirits, let me tell you. Oh, and the migraines. I'm not talking about the take two aspirin and call me in the morning kind either. These were intense, throbbing episodes that just wouldn't let up. If I hadn't already been lying down all the time, you can bet these headaches would have made me do just that. I was starting to reach my breaking point. I went to see even more specialists insisting they run additional tests, and amazingly, all the results came back normal. Now that would normally be good news, but under the circumstances, it made me feel even more frustrated and desperate. I pleaded with one of my doctors for some relief, and he finally prescribed me an antidepressant. An antidepressant! I was so disappointed. Depression was just one of the multitude of symptoms I was experiencing. But with no other options, I convinced myself that doctor knows best, and I took it. What a mistake. Not only did it not solve any of my existing problems, not even the depression itself, but it introduced me to some new ones, too. My life was quickly taken over by two nasty little words. Side effects. Talk about treatment being worse than the disease. I felt miserable. I'd reached the end of my rope. I felt awful, I looked terrible, and my poor family was being torn apart because of my nonstop worsening symptoms. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I wanted answers. I wanted help. But what else could I do? I felt powerless. The illness had taken its toll, and I was ready to give up completely. And that's when I got a call from an old friend who told me about Hootsie Health and Wellness Center. It turned out she'd experienced all the same symptoms I had. Fatigue, depression, brain fog, inability to focus, weight gain, 
and feeling cold all the time, just to name a few. And of course, like me, her quality of life diminished. Her relationships grew strained and her career suffered as her health spiraled out of control. My friend explained that the doctors at Hootsie Health and Wellness Center actually listened to her, taking all her symptoms at face value, not just diminishing them as all in her head because the lab tests were so-called in the normal range. She said they examined her as an individual person rather than lumping her into the same huge category as every other woman her age. And they treated her whole condition rather than just spinning their wheels trying to place band-aids on her symptoms one at a time. She said they gave her her life back. I have to admit, after all I'd been through, I was skeptical. But for the first time in months, I felt hopeful. I began to wonder if Hootsie Health and Wellness Center could do the same for me, and I decided it was worth a shot. So I made an appointment and off I went. And by the time I left, I was practically jumping for joy. Pretty soon my life improved dramatically. My migraines disappeared, and getting a great night's sleep was as easy as hitting the pillow. I was able to think clearly again, and I had so much energy, I felt like I was back in high school. My relationships began to thrive. I went back to being a more devoted wife, a more caring mom, and a more effective professional. Oh yeah, I dropped 20 pounds in no time. The weight just came right off, and I owe it all to Hootsie Health and Wellness Center. If my story sounds a little too familiar to you, or someone you care about, then you owe it to yourself to find out more about hypothyroidism and why it often goes undiagnosed, and how you can literally get your life back safely, effectively, and naturally without synthetic drugs. And I can't think of a better way for you to do that than by reading the groundbreaking book, Hypothyroidism, Health, and Happiness, written by Dr. Hootsie himself. Dr. Hootsie has successfully treated low thyroid function in over 25,000 patients, and he's one of the world's foremost authorities on thyroid disease and bioidentical hormone treatment. And because you're watching this video, you can get hypothyroidism health and happiness at a special price and start taking control of your health and your future today. For more details, fill out the form below. It's that simple. And it's the first step on your journey back to vitality, health, and empowerment. So get Dr. Hootsie's book now and start getting your life back. Like me, your only regret will not be doing it sooner.